heard that you have a daughter. I have two daughters. One's an attorney, though. Mm -hmm. Where's she out of? Actually, she she lives in Nashville now, and she's not working right now. She's uh, expecting another baby, so ah. I'll have two grandchildren here. So you're going to be, you're gonna be uh, a grandpa twice over. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice. I, I'm pop. You know what I do, right? No. Well, I run drug and alcohol treatment centers. All right. Yeah. Well, that's a wonderful thing, then. Yeah. And that, that's you know. Sad that's, to say, but very yeah, much needed. That's that's uh, one of the big questions that I that I had you was going to ask you in the entertainment business. Do you find that it's out there? It's, you know, you see it all the time? I mean, I, I've seen it all the time for 40 years. Yes. 40 years? Yes, sir. And has it changed, got worse, better? In the... Seems it's gotten better okay. over the last 15 years. I don't hear near as much about uh, and don't see as much of the wild stuff on the road. Of course, I'm not... You know, I'm not hanging with the young hot guys either. I don't know what they're doing. I, I know I've grown out of uh, a lot of mine. You know. So does that come with maturity, age, I hope brains? So. Trying to be pop. All three? Trying yeah. to be pops. Yeah, yeah, just trying to be pop. How old are your grandkids? Uh, I got a little three and a half year old, and like I say, one be here in January. Wow. So that's why you're trying to be pop. You bet. Just trying to be. I hope I can be. Now, is that from one daughter? Or? Yes, one daughter. You have two My daughters? Young, yeah. My youngest right. daughter is uh, fixing to be married next year, so maybe there'll be some more on the way. Do you think we should concentrate maybe on the kids? What do you think we should do to help offset this problem we have in our... Well, as far as the kids and young people, I, I would say this. Uh, uh, it almost goes back to the old Hulk, Hulk Hogan, you know, take your vitamins and be good and and, and do, seriously though, try not to fall a victim of the temptations that are out there these days. I mean, uh, I can say this for myself, uh, I had a wonderful mom and dad and a wonderful upbringing and had it not been for that steady, solid rock upbringing, uh, but for the grace of God, I could be in rehab. Right. So family. Family is a big part of it, but also just self-respect. You know, you don't you don't have to have a, a very close family or be anything to to uh, to stay straight enough to at least know what's going on about you all the time. Good words. Good words of advice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Perry. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir.